We know too many local businesses have closed their doors for one reason or another, but it's very rare one has to close because of too much success. Cassie Foote spoke to the brains behind Safe House Distillery in downtown Albuquerque today. And Cassie, it sounds like things are really heading in the right direction there. Safe House opened right before the pandemic in 2019. Mm -hmm. It pushed through and workers say they've seen their sales soar. In fact, the production of their liquor took off so much they had to close their tap room in downtown Albuquerque to store whiskey barrels. And soon people in other states will be able to get a taste of what's becoming a New Mexico staple. So we were bottling green chili vodka today. It's a homegrown success story. <laughs> Not even the man behind all these medals saw coming. Now we were doing this small family startup distillery, kind of doing it just for us and for fun mostly, and it kind of has blown up into this bigger thing than we ever thought it was going to be. Chris Lurig is the master distiller at Safe House Distilling Company in downtown Albuquerque. They opened in 2019 with their signature, Teller Vodka. So this vodka was our original vodka. It's gluten free, 10 times distilled, GMO free, and just very clean. People liked it a lot. Since then, we've grown from day one over 500% on our volume. And almost every year, we almost double our production. So they kept creating, and people kept buying. Infused vodkas, gin, and now bourbon. If you've ever sipped on one of their spirits. Yeah, it came from this still, and then all these stainless tanks around here. We do all the infusions in them with fresh fruit and everything like that. With such a high demand, they had to close their tap room for nearly a year to make space for more than 300 bourbon barrels. This is what it looked like before they recently bought more storage space off site. We told everyone, you know, go enjoy our products at every other bar that's selling them. Those are our uh, secondary tap rooms across the state. <laughs> and not to mention, their craft ready to drink cocktails are in more than 800 stores statewide and have sold more than 1 million cans in the last two years. Now, our neighbors in Arizona, Colorado, Utah, Texas, and Nevada will get a taste, with distribution ramping up to cross state lines. For the last year and a half, we've been building everything, supply chain, quality, everything to make sure when we start selling to these states, we never run out and never lower our quality. Now that they've been able to move those bourbon barrels, the Safe House Distilling Tap Room will open back up this coming Saturday, the same day Balloon Fiesta starts. And you may remember they teamed up with the Isotopes for a signature canned cocktail they sell at the lab called Watermelon Walk Off. Well, Lorig says they have another collaboration in the works with a local sports team, but we're going to have to wait until basketball season for more details on that. Tessa? I would say that's a nice little hint right there. Okay, <laughs> Cassie, thanks so much.